So here is the Hobby King EPP FPV model on the field, all ready to fly. As you can see, I haven't put the full canopy on the front because um, I've had to put a lot of lead on the nose to compensate for the very rearward CG. Now, of course, if you've got a camera on here and some extra batteries and things, you wouldn't need this big chunk of lead here, which I have Velcroed, to the front. And if you take a look inside, you'll see I've got the two 2200mm three-cell packs here, which are paralleled through a little adapter I've made in there. Receivers up in here, speed controllers in the back. So it's all ready to go. I'm not going to rely on these silly little magnets to hold this on. I've got a rubber band, which I'll put around to provide extra security. Okay, I'm using the uh, Fly Sky 9X with the Free Sky system. This is the same as the Turnergy 9X. And we might as well plug it all in and see if it flies. Turn the radio on. There you go. Throw it down. Okay, let's go out and give it a hit. It's pretty windy today, but uh, hopefully that won't be an issue. Okay, one thing I've noticed immediately on putting this on the ground is, if you look down here, the tail is actually bearing the, the load of the model when it tips, when the wing tips over. The tail touches before the wing, so if you're coming in a bit one wing low, quite easy to knock the tail off, I would suspect. Now, this is why T-tails, such as on the Skywalker, may be a better option for this kind of model. But let's throw it and see what happens. Now it is a bit bumpy today, but as I thought, the turn on this model is quite unusual. The tail hangs down in the turn, see how it's very nose high in the turn? If I put rudder in, then the turns are far better coordinated, that looks like a much better turn. But without using rudder, the model tends to hang tail down. Because of all that side area in front of the centre of gravity, it's getting buffeted around by the wind a little bit up there. What I'll do now is some fairly fundamental tests for an FPV model. We'll see how well it stalls because we don't want it dropping into a spin in a stall. So I'll just moderate power, just hold back on the elevator and we'll see what it does. Okay, it's gone into a right hand spin or right hand turn with full up elevator. Release the elevator. Now let's put it into a turn and release the controls and see if it will recover by itself. I've released the controls now. No, it's staying in quite a steep turn, slowly recovering, but it's maintaining that turn and losing altitude with quite a bit of power on. So it's not inherently stable in roll. I'll try it in pitch, get a bit of altitude on. I might add that I haven't had to add any trim at this stage. It's flown dead straight right off the board. Now I'll go around and I'll put it, put it into a little bit of a dive to see whether it will recover on its own. the stick. That's much better. It's actually popped its nose back up. That's very good. But the, the roll stability is quite neutral. It means it doesn't recover by leveling its own wings. Now I'll be flying around with about two thirds power on. That's plenty. I shall bring it in for a landing and see how it handles the landing. I think I'll have to keep a bit of power on. It's a very draggy model. Got a bit of wind around today. It's throttled right off now. So it's gliding reasonably well. 
power back on because we have to penetrate into this wind and there's quite a bit of it. Use rudder on those turns or it just banks without turning. A little aileron differential may help there as well. A lot of rudder to keep that straight. There we go. Okay, now that was the very first flight. The trims are still right in the middle, haven't touched the trims. Possibly could do with a little bit of down trim, but it was flying okay on the sticks. The turns, as I suspected, are not good turns. You have to coordinate with rudder and aileron, so you could mix that on your transmitter, or you could fly it by hand. In roll, it tends to be uh, no stability. If you put it into a tight turn, it will stay in that turn, and it will lose altitude if you don't recover the model manually. So that's not good if you lose your video link and you don't know where the model is. You cannot rely on it to recover from a turn you may be in at the time. But what we're going to do, of course, is put a stability system on this model and we're going to put the return to launch. Okay, there we have it. That was the first flight of the Hobby King EPP FPV model. Um, it flew as much as I expected. In the turns, it hung its tail down. I had to use rudder to keep the tail up to produce what we call a coordinated turn so it didn't side slip through the turns. That's because all this area on the front here is working to hold the nose up instead of allowing it to fall in the turn. But if you mix in rudder and aileron, you can overcome that. I'll also try some aileron differential. If we make the upward going aileron move further than the downward going aileron, it helps pull the nose around in a turn. Now, the little timer RC motor, I'm most impressed with that. That's uh, the rate of climb of this model is very, very good with just this tiny little motor on the back. So um, I think I'll stick with this motor. But now what I'm going to do is take this off, put the camera on here, put the video transmitter on there, see how it works as an FPV plane. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Use a lot of rudder to get it around. 